happy 16th of October. How are you all today? I hope that you're all doing well and I hope you're having a lovely week so far. I am a bit tired today. I didn't sleep so well. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably my mind's just a bit too busy at the minute. But anyway, I have be I am up obviously and I've been out. I have posted something in the post box this morning. I didn't film anything because it is grey, it's gloomy and it's misty out there so it's just dismal all round plus I didn't really leave the village so I just I just didn't so yeah I didn't go for a massive walk because obviously there's a lot left to do this morning so I moved pretty much everything last night I've just got a couple of a handful of uh, bottles and stuff to move from under where the boiler is um and what else have I got to do I've got to clean the bathroom the, the downstairs bathroom uh, it's a little earlier than I normally clean it, so, you know, just just puts me ahead, I guess. And I've got a few other little bits and bobs to do here and there, and then I need to do some work this morning, and then the boiler man will be here about 10 o'clock, he told me, and then hopefully we can go through everything we need to go through when he gets here, and hopefully, I, I will mention to him that I have training at quarter to 12 today, um, just to kind of get an idea of as you know if I can actually feasibly do it I hope I can but I'm, I've kind of I mean I've just kind of told myself if if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't and I'll have to wait for a couple of months until it comes around again uh it's not ideal but um it is what it is right we've got to do what we can and look at the bright side and the bright side is in 12 hours the boiler will be fixed it'll be done we will have running water I won't have to get up because I got up at half five this morning just to turn the immersion heater on and I didn't want to go back to bed because I didn't want to wake Rob up and yeah it was just a whole thing so it's gonna be really really nice like on a Wednesday that I don't have to get up at half five I can get up at six instead which will be massive it will be wonderful if I can do that so Ah, all the good stuff that's going to come, sorry that was rather dramatic, all the good stuff that's going to come when we get this boiler fixed and sorted, I'm very excited to get it done, I'm also very nervous because of the training, but anyway, I'm going to change my hands, hang on, Ooh. ah, oh, I would say I need a lighter phone, but um, it's not really that heavy, anyway, <laughs> what else is happening, oh I've been working on the mystery knit along, I think I might be able to make it, you know, I think I might. I'm not too, sorry, changing back again. Um, I'm not too bothered if I don't, but the reason, well, I, it's kind of a mixed bag. I kind of want to get it done for tomorrow because obviously Clue 3 comes out tomorrow and I like to keep up. And I think one of your lovely selves mentioned this in the comments and I am a very similar way in that I like to keep up with each clue. But when Clue 4 comes out, that's when I tend to take a breather. And I do try my best to finish it as quick as possible. But that's when I sort of calm down a bit, <laughs> basically. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm working quite hard on that. And hopefully I managed to get to the point where I could take it to bed with me. So I did some bedtime knitting last night on it, which was great. It, that really helps. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling quite confident, <laughs> which is good and um what else oh 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 also yesterday yesterday I don't know how it didn't click when I was getting far too excited when I showed the toft patterns there was a beautiful really cute little maggot called Clyde Clyde the maggot yes yes he is beautiful um and there was also a spider that didn't have a name, no named spider. And I said, we'll have to think of a name. How did it not click? A few of you in the comments have already mentioned, obviously it has to be Bonnie. So Bonnie and Clyde, of course, why did it not click? So the spider is gonna be called Bonnie. Thank you everybody for filling in the gap where I clearly didn't have the brain capacity to put two and two together. So thank you, Bonnie and Clyde. I kind of feel like I need to make them sooner than later, just them, and then I'll make the apple to go with at some point. They, they've gotta be the first ones, right, haven't they? Definitely. But yes, anyway, I have stuff to do, so I'm gonna do myself another cup of tea. And then I will do the stuff and I'll check back with you as soon as I can.
and unfortunately yes this is the final check-in of the day my apologies for the lack of footage today the boiler men were with me a lot longer than planned today which is fine because as far as I understand it everything is now done so the pipe upstairs has been fitted in a much better way I am honestly I'm so pleased with how they've done that pipe now fantastic I've sent a picture to Rob he's also happy about that so that's good and with the hot water issue they couldn't install a hive system which is a bit of a shame because obviously Rob and I would quite like a hive system but that's not a problem as long as the hot water works and we have a way of controlling it that's all that matters to us really so they have in, they've had to install another device so we've got a device for the heating so the functionality you know setting timer on that and also if we need immediate hot um any immediate heating that's already that's been there the whole time uh, but now we have another one that doesn't control the water we have another one specifically for the water so it does the same thing we can set the timer for the water for when we want the water to come on and when we want it to go off and also we have an immediate hot water request button as well so that is great um rob when he gets home he's going to test all of that and just make sure that everything is working as we expect and then i think that job is all done at long long last they did arrive five minutes before my they were they were very late basically they arrived at about 11 40 so they were supposed to be here at 10 arrived at 11 40 they did phone me to say that they were running late because i think there'd been a, an emergency or something that they had to deal with so that was fine um but yeah they got here at 11 40 my training started at 11 45 so thankfully there's a bit of um there's like a, a leader in the training that I do. So the first five minutes is just kind of going through the system and explaining how to access everything, how to ask questions and so on and so forth. So that's good. Um, so I knew I had a little bit of a buffer to kind of just explain what I wanted, especially with that pipe upstairs. He showed me what I needed to see on the boiler. I am happy. So fantastic. I feel better. I was feeling a bit, what's the word? As soon as they left, it wasn't like an immediate relief, if that makes sense, because there's a lot of tense, I've been very tense, a lot of that tense emotion feeling, you know, has been very pent up for quite a while, so it wasn't an immediate release of that, obviously it took a couple of hours for it to actually whoo, release, and um, yeah, I feel much better now, and I feel quite excited, I'm starting to get that excited feeling back, because I feel like I can actually get my routine back. If anyone out there is similar to me, I think the big issue for me is I like a routine. When my routine is out of whack, I am I'm a bit all over the place and I don't like how it feels in my body because my body is just very reactive. So um, it's very reactive in, in response to what's happening in my brain. I suppose that's my anxiety speaking. <laughs> But, you know, a lot of these things I am working through with my business coach. I'm going to move my cup a minute before I knock it. Um, for those who don't know, because I noticed there's quite a few of you lovely, lovely new faces here. So welcome, massive welcome to all of you. I am very happy to have you here and I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to make yourselves known in the comments. I am trying my best to get back to you all. But again, today, unfortunately, I've just not had the day that I hoped I would have. So... I'm still behind I'm trying I am trying but yes um, so for those of you who are new here I see a business coach who is very very much like a therapist and she has helped me no end really because I am a very anxious person I stress a lot well I used to I don't stress as much as I used to and um, she is helping me cope and learn mechanisms on how to deal with things um, which has been absolutely fantastic. I, I'm honestly so grateful for her. And I'm also really grateful for my partner as well because he and I have a, a relationship where we kind of communicate about everything and he has been massively supportive and massively helpful. So every time I have a session with my business coach, I will then chat, talk it through with Rob, my partner, and um, he comes up with ways of helping me which is just amazing. Honestly, I am so blessed. I really am. And it drives me drives me mad that I have all these brain issues and I'm thinking, why can't it just be simple? Why can't my brain just butt out and let me just 
ha, go on the calm train, you know? <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. But there we go, that's just a little bit of why my brain has been all over the place. It's really hard to explain, but yeah. <laughs> Alongside that, there is something else that's happening as well, which I've been extremely secretive about. The people who know me know what's happening. Um, I'm not explaining it fully here yet until things are moving in the right direction, because obviously I don't want to say, oh, this is happening and then for it to fall through. And then, you know, it just won't be great. But things are moving in that direction, are moving in a good direction. But yeah just the reason I'm saying this <laughs> is to kind of help you understand that my brain is a bit all over the place at the minute there's a lot going on behind the scenes and um, I will let you know hopefully soon maybe I don't know it's going to be a couple of months I reckon but um, I'll let you know if it happens and it's going to be the best news ever if it happens but cross your fingers for me <laughs> it all goes well anyway enough of the secrets but I just like to let you know where my head's at because some days I'm not quite myself and I feel like last week especially I mean I wasn't very well anyway I had that really horrible cold <laughs> was that last week I feel like it was last week I don't know but um yeah I always feel bad when I do videos and I'm not quite myself because yeah I mean we're, we all have bad days don't we so I shouldn't feel bad about it and I I am eternally grateful that you are so supportive of me and that I, how I am and how I'm feeling does come across genuine because genuinely this is me talking, I know I'm talking to a camera, but to me it feels like I'm talking to a friend, if that makes sense. It, it's a very strange scenario, <laughs> but that's how it feels. As soon as I turn this camera on, I open up. <laughs> And that is that. So I'm really, really grateful to those of you who have commented to say that you do enjoy my channel because it feels real to you and it is. I do my best to keep upbeat, but obviously it is what it is. I I can't avoid these things. I don't think anybody can, can you? There's Everyone's got things going on and things affect people in different ways. Sorry, therapy corner here. No, it's more therapy corner to me. Thank you for listening. <laughs> but um yeah, everyone has things that are going on and people respond in different ways to certain scenarios. So, it, yeah, I'm just so grateful that you're all so kind to me. Thank you. And that you do listen. It's It does mean a lot, honestly. I know I say it every video, but honestly, that's, that's why I say it, because it really does mean a lot that you are here. And that you do comment and interact with me and everything like that. I know I've not been the best with responding, but I'm trying. I, w I promise I will. Yes, I know I keep saying this weekend I will catch up with all the comments, but I'm going to make active effort. Now that the big hurdle of the boiler is out of the way, that's one big thing off my mind. So I've got a bit more space in there <laughs> to get, get going with everything else. So enough of my waffle. Thank you for listening once again. But we're going to get stuck in to the stuff that I have to show you because it's all very exciting. I'm excited anyway. The first thing I'm going to show you is what you've just seen me working on and that is the gorgeous Land of Sweet Cowl by Helen Stewart. Let me do it that way because the ring light is in a very odd place at the minute. It's right here. <laughs> I think you can see that. Yeah, yeah you can. Um, but yes, yeah, so there it is. The absolutely gorgeous Land of Sweet Cowl by Helen Stewart. The yarn I am using is dyed by the absolutely wonderful Siobhan at Siobhan's Crafts. And this was her 2023 advent calendar. It was called Merry and Bright. And I think you can tell it, it hit the nail on the head, didn't it really? It was just, it's spot on. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so pleased with it. It's perfect. The yarn was actually 10, uh, it was 24 10 gram minis. So I really didn't know what to do with it. So this cowl was perfect. It is designed to work with 24 mini skeins. And Helen recommends, I think in the pattern, it was eight grams of yarn per colour. Now there's quite a lot left over, let me show you. Um, this is my magic knot ball. It is huge. I haven't weighed it yet, but this is my magic knot ball. This is all the leftovers from the colours that I've already used. And I have just joined in colour number 21. So there are... I nearly had to count them, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Um, there are 20 
mini skein leftovers in here and I'm pretty sure I had at least five grams so at least half the skein left I could be mistaken but I'm pretty sure that's what I remember weighing but yeah it's a giant knot ball what I plan to do with this is I plan to make some mismatching socks which I'm really excited about because they're going to be the jazziest most beautiful socks ever and I think you've noticed that I've started re I've actually started wearing all my me made socks I I wouldn't say that I've never worn them I have but I wear them in the house I don't wear them outside but recently I've changed my I've bought some new trousers excuse me and they they're roll-ups so you can kind of see my ankles a little bit when I walk or when I sit down you can definitely see my socks so I thought why don't I just wear my new made socks they might not match what I'm wearing but I don't really care because the socks are beautiful so I've started wearing them so these are going to be amazing I'm going to be so excited to make that but anyway as I've just said I have just joined in sorry it's crinkling away I have just joined in colour 21 so I am so close on this now let me just have a look um so colour 21 has just been joined in obviously colour 22 23 um yeah so color 24 is the ribbing so i've only got i think i've got two knit sections and one pattern section left that's excluding the ribbing so one page left one one a4 page left after the page that i'm on and i'm one two three four i'm five rows off ticking that page off as well so that is fantastic i'm really really pleased with that and i'm getting there i'm hoping I might actually be able to get this finished in October. I might have a finished object other than my, it's all the way over there, other than my Christmas stocking, I might actually have another finished object in October, which, you know, is kind of unheard of, <laughs> really. But yes, there it is. Land of Sweet Cowl by Helen Stewart using Siobhan's Crafts yarn. Right. I did show you something a little bit cheeky earlier as well. This this is this this hasn't quite happened yet, but I did show me grabbing some yarn. So here is Toft yarn. It is DK weight, and I got Camel, and I also got Coco. And I grabbed these because because I really really want to cast on these guys. So if you watched yesterday's video, you will know that I am now obsessed with this little fella. This is Clyde the Maggot. Oh, he's just so cute. This is where he is from. This is the trick or treat box that I got from Toff. This is the rotten apple. And I just, oh, I love him. I love him. And again, I just want to thank you all in the comments. I can't believe I missed it. But there is this other fellow here, a little spider on the venomous apple. That's what this is. And the spider didn't have a name. The, the maggot did. The maggot on the back of the pattern, it says Clyde the maggot. The spider just says spider. And I said yesterday, we'll have to think of a name for the spider. But I mean, it was a no brainer, wasn't it? I'm so glad that you all pointed out in the comments because as I said this morning, my brain clearly wasn't on all, on all cylinders. To, so yeah, basically here we have Clyde and we're gonna call the spider Bonnie. It, Bonnie and Clyde why why did I miss that but there we go thank you so much everybody who pointed it out I'm so grateful so Bonnie and Clyde I might cast on and make because I've got the yarn out with the intention of making them because I think they need to make an appearance in vlogtober what do we think I think they do don't they oh they're just gorgeous so that is one of my plans I want to cast these on and I want to get them made not necessarily the whole thing so I might not make the apple as well I just at least want to get the maggot and the spider done because they're so cute <laughs> and I feel like they need to exist for vlogtober but yeah so that's what I grabbed out earlier when I was grabbing these I mean you will have seen it because I showed the yarn and the patterns but yeah just to say I haven't cast them on just yet but the temptation is real for sure all right so that brings me to the final item that I have to show you. And I'm quite excited because I think I'm on track, which I wasn't expecting to happen today. But I'm about to show my progress on the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along Go Go Dynamo. So massive, massive spoiler warning. If you haven't seen anything to do with the Mystery Knit Along or you don't want to see anything to do with the Mystery Knit Along, 
clue two. So I am currently on section seven of clue two. I am about halfway through it. So I'm more than halfway actually. What I'm, I can't, clearly I can't count today. I've got four rows left, basically. That's all I've got left of clue two. So if you're not there yet and you don't want to see any spoilers, please feel free to end this video here because I am just going to show the mystery this long and then I'm going to close out as I've been doing all along, but I just like to reiterate just so you're aware and for anybody who is new. So if you don't want to see any spoilers for clue two of the Stephen West mystery knit along Go Go Dynamo, I will see you tomorrow. For everyone else who has remained, I'm assuming that you want to see it. So again, like I keep saying, with this clue in particular, sorry, that was really, probably really loud. With this clue in particular, um, there's not a lot difference happening. There's not a lot, yeah, you get the idea. There's, it's all very similar. Um, but this is where I am currently at, oops. So you can see that I have finished this brioche section and I'm on the final section, section seven, the bubbles. So my next step is to create these lovely stitches that go, that connect through the bubbles, basically. So this lovely, I can't really, that way? Yeah, you can, you can see it, can't you? Yes, yeah. so the stitches that go between. So that is my next, um, yeah, sorry, I was just checking that everything looked okay. That is the next step, I believe. Yes, it is. And even more exciting, this is no longer connected. So I have broken, I finally have an end because I tied in, I was so good. I tied in all the ends of clue one. So that was exciting. But now I only have one end left. This is all I have left. I haven't weighed it and my scales are in the kitchen so I can't weigh it just yet. But this is all I have left of my first skein of my contrasting color. So also just quickly, the yarn I'm using is my hand dyed yarn, which is, Apex yarn. The green is called Who Needs Wings Green. And then the grey, which is this one here, is Who Needs Wings Grey. So those are the colours that I'm using and the yarn that I'm using. I always forget to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I can't get that back in now. Give me a minute. <laughs> I always put the the band, the ball band in the center of my skeins whenever I cake them up because, and I pull the yarn from the outside of the cake. I keep the ball band in the middle just for this kind of situation where I've got some leftover and it just means that that ball band is cut always with the cake. So if ever I threw this in a bag, say I'd finished the project and this was leftover and I threw it in a bag, I will always have the information of what this is. So I find that quite useful. I don't do it with, um, I don't always do it with minis, but um, definitely with 100 gram skeins, I always put the ball band in the middle, as I say, so I know exactly what makeup the fiber is and also where I got it from, if I got it from anywhere. Usually I get it from somewhere, I don't, I don't make, yeah, usually I've got it from somewhere, but anyway, there we go. That's what I do. So back to the make, here we go. So here it is in its, entirety and I said this I think yesterday I'm really happy that it's actually filling out more because I feel like it's actually building if you know what I mean so yeah I'm still curious as to what clue three is going to be especially now that we've cut the yarn I said this when did I say this I can't remember but I've got a feeling a suspicion that we're going to build from the top and fill this in a bit because Stephen likes to I-cord edge things. We've only got I-cord edging on the sides. We haven't got any on the top where the cast on edge was. And obviously we haven't got any on the bottom yet. So I am curious if we're gonna be filling the top in, but we've only got one more day to wait. So I'm super excited for that. But yes, yeah, so I've only got one, one yarn attached now and it is the gray. Oh my goodness. Um, I need to rewind it, but yeah, I have been really, really enjoying it. And I think I, yeah, I'm just too, oh, I'm too excited to see what we've got tomorrow. Obviously we had brioche this time, so I haven't got a clue what kind of techniques we're gonna be going for in the next um, clue. I, I couldn't guess, to be honest. Brioche was the only guess and hope that I had 
and now it's done unless we're going to have some more brioche i'm not sure but really love it and i'm really happy with my color choice i think it looks really really nice actually and it's going to be really nice because a lot of my shawls are purples and um purples purples and pinks i would say so it's nice to go in a color palette direction that's very different to what i have at the minute but there we go that is my mystery knit along and um yeah nearly there so i reckon tonight i could really push and get this done if i behave myself and i don't get caught up making a maggot and a spider <laughs> i might just do that anyway but um yeah i'm just looking at the pattern no that's it then final four rows to do and then that is clue two done and i feel like that is a com that i can accomplish that before the next clue comes out tomorrow i keep spotting things that i think are mistakes but they're not they're just um making me nervous is that a mistake no 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 it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not, it's not, it's not. no it's not a mistake we're all good could you imagine oh my goodness i feel like everybody's had a little bit of um I think everybody's had to rip back on this shawl, to be honest. I, in the first section of brioche, I had to rip back twice. So I had to reverse knit on two rows, purely because I'd done, um, I don't know which way around it was, but I'd done a, say like a knit, a knit row where it should have been a pearl row or something like that. I'd done that twice on the first section of brioche. The second section of brioche, I'd done it, but I'd only done it like in the last section of it. And that was on the last two rows I think it was yeah the last two rows of the brioche and because I was so close to finishing the brioche I just wanted to fix it I did manage it in the end but I feel like I'm quite a few people are having to rip back and um fix fix issues and stuff like that because I was watching uh, Martin of Knit365 this morning and uh, he had to fix something on his brioche as well um so yeah <laughs> I feel like everyone's had a bit of a time with this clue but yeah, so close. I'm on the home straight now. Really excited. Let me know how you're getting on and um, let me know your predictions, actually. What are your predictions for clue three? I am very, very curious to see what ideas you have that Stephen may be giving us in clue three. I'm really curious because I haven't got a clue. Other than thinking maybe filling out this cast on edge, I haven't got a clue. I wouldn't have a clue for techniques. I don't know. I'm... I'd like some slippy V's actually. I really like the slippy, I haven't got shawlography. I'll put it upstairs. Shawlography had a section with the slippy V's and I think it's so, so beautiful. So I wouldn't mind some more of that to be honest, but I'm not convinced that that will be happening. But um, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yes, let me know how you're getting on. Let me know what predictions you have for tomorrow. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Oh my goodness. Yes. Anyway, it's all right. I'm just looking at Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, my goodness. Vote below if you think I'm going to have made Bonnie and Clyde by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to try and resist, but I can't guarantee. I, they're just staring at me now. I'm like, oh, my God. I need to get the eyes out as well if I plan on making them. But, yeah, let me know if you let me know if you would like to see Bonnie and Clyde make an appearance in Vlogtober. There we go. Yeah. That's what I need. Yes, yes. I hope it will happen. It will happen. No, I don't know. Whatever. I'm tired. Ah, I do have a delivery coming tomorrow. So I know this is a little extra, but I'm going to explain this tomorrow anyway when it comes. So tomorrow I have, well, I've been told via the app, but I don't trust the app anymore. <laughs> the app has told me that I will have a delivery tomorrow of one of my advents. So Again, for those who are new here, if you are still here, don't worry. If, if you're not, I'll explain it again tomorrow when it comes anyway, because I'll go into it in more detail. But I have four advents coming this year. I've got a bit excited. I can't. Oh, gosh. It was only supposed to be two. The Toft advent and a, a yarn advent. But I'll go into this again, as I say, tomorrow. But yeah, I ended up with four. One of them being the Toft advent. So I'll, I was right on the one of them, but I just got excited. That's my issue. I get excited. Um, as you all know, <laughs> I get excited with things to purchase and I get excited by casting on. I love casting on. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favourite things. But anyway, right, well, I'll show you when it arrives. Obviously, I'm not going to open it and show you 
the yarn or anything like that but I'll just go through it and then I'll let you know what other ones I've ordered as well that are coming so I'm gonna leave that there because I've kept you far than long enough oh it's 25 minutes just this bit oh my goodness I do apologize thank you so so much for watching it always really does mean the world to me I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow